only way I would have conquered that is if I was in a pit. You know, so many times we ask God, why did you put us in this position? And God said, because if I didn't, you would constantly run and Satan would always have an advantage of you. He would always come to you this way. How many know whatever worked on you last year shouldn't be working on you this year? The tricks that the devil used 10 years ago, I hope he had to throw them away because you have grown spiritually. In 2014, we better tell him he better try something new because what he tried this year didn't work and we are more than yeah. victorious. Come on. We don't deal with yeah. that. I promise you right now, I can pick a subject. Anybody that says, I don't want to talk about it, means they got a problem with it. I just rather not say it. That means they need to get in the pit. The worst place is not a good time to deal with your worst fear, but how many know it's the only time you'll conquer it? Mm. It's the only time you will conquer it if you are in a place where you can't get rid of it. I can't climb out. I can't get out. It's either me or the lion. That's what this man said. It's either me or the lion. Somebody's got to die because both of us are stuck here. And I've already read the word that he is with me. So I know it's not me. You want to tell your fear right now? You ain't going to kill me because my faith has already caused abundant life to live in me. Amen. Come on. It says, the man killed a lion in a pit on a snowy day. Right? I love what Job says about a pit. Job says this. Job talks about it. He says, and where is now my hope? As for my hope, who shall see it? Now, I want, you to, I want you to really touch base with Job. They shall go down into the bars of the pit when air rests together is in the dust. Look at what he says. He says, my hope is gone. I am in a pit. Who's going to come down and get me? Who's going to save me? Who is going to, let me tell you something, sometimes you've got to understand God's love. God's love is sometimes I've got to put you in a position that you finally deal with it. Yeah. My son is growing up, getting ready to be 17 next month, and I told him with a loving heart, Alex, you got a car now that needs gas. He said, yeah. I said, you got a girlfriend now? He said, yeah. Uh, I said, you know what's missing? He said, no, what? I said, a job. <laughs> 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 he said to me, he looked at me and said, but dad, you know, I, I, I'm going to school, I'm lifting for football, that's going to wreck my social life. As a dad with compassion, I said, being broke is worse on your social life. I promise you, when you look to your girlfriend and she says, can we go to the movies? No, we can't go. My dad can't drive us tonight. That's not good. You know, it's not good. He looked at me and he honestly, after we kind of get it around, he said, Dad, I don't want to grow up. He said, son, part of me don't want you to. But the other part says, if I cripple you, the world will kill you. So I've got to set you out like an eagle does. I Gotta, you know, ruffle up and make the make the nest not so comfortable. And that's not easy. Watching my children grow up, that's not easy. But I know that if I don't do that to them, if we if we if we don't raise them that way, then all of a sudden they're going to find themselves in the pit that we're eventually going to get in with no hope. I would rather my son have to face life knowing when my pit comes, that's okay because my God is with me, and that's what we've got to look at. So the next thing says on a snowy day. What does snow really do? We all know about it. It's getting ready to come. How many know it interferes with visibility? You don't see as good in the snow. How many know when you're facing your worst fear in the worst place, the vision you have for your life starts going down? Because you know, isn't it amazing when people first get saved, they witness to a tree stump? Well, I got saved in the church last night. It's great. And 10 years later, you can't get us to talk about Jesus. All we do is complain. Preacher has been loud. He spit on. I sat in the front row trying to get something from it. All I did is spit on him. You know what I'm talking about? Snow interferes with your visibility. You cannot see. The Bible says in Proverbs, where there is no vision, the people perish. I would love that. You know, I want your vision for your life, your family. Is it positive? Or because of the storm that's come your way, you're just. You know what happens with storms? We become survivors. Survivors mean I'll do whatever it takes just to live. How many know Jesus did not die for the church to be a room full of survivors? 
Because Revelation chapter 3 says, to he that overcomes. And here's the great part about overcoming. Overcoming means I faced a storm and had more than enough. I had more than enough. I didn't survive my thing. I overcame it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I didn't survive yeah. my lion in a pit. I overcame a lion in a pit. Uh, uh, See, that's what surviving a storm will come to, to limit your vision for the church, for God, as they said about being hungry for God. Sometimes we go by what we see. We come into church and nobody's getting happy with the service wasn't good. Well, maybe it's because the visibility is bad. Right? We're going to go and we're going to assemble tonight yeah. and we're going to see the power of God fall. Yeah. I'm going to change. Life is going to change. Yeah. I'm going to leave better. Do you understand? Yeah. You tell, don't, don't go by what you see. Go by what you believe. Yeah. That means even when there's, how many you know, even when there's a snowstorm coming and you can't see, as long as you drove yourself home, how many ever got home and fogged because you knew the way? Yeah. More than you could see the way. Yeah. Right? How you know, sometimes to get to our destination ain't going to be because we see it, because the Bible says we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. How many you know, sometimes we're going to get there because we believe it. We know the way. How do I get out of this trouble? I know the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And I'll just follow Jesus. I'll just follow him everywhere I go. A snowy day will interfere. Now, this is the next thing a snowy day will do. And I don't like it because the older I get, the more I don't like it. Somebody said it makes you cold. You lose your feeling. Has anybody ever worked outside on a snowy day no. and your hands got so cold you got to feel it? No. Yeah, and then you mash it with the hammer. <laughs> somebody will put you in the ear when your ears were cold, you know? Snow affects the way you feel things. I, I want to say this real quick. We have learned to have church on emotions only. And then if we don't feel anything, we say, God, what's in it? Let me tell you something. When the singers sing, and they're leading you to worship. They're not asking you how you feel. They're asking you, what do you believe when you sing the song? Amen. When the preacher preaches, he's not asking you, do you feel good? He is asking you, do you believe he's good? 